the last day of the free to play challenge and i have a lot to do today probably to where i'm staying up all night i still need to finish exploring astra i need to go to artificial island and do a little bit of exploring there so that way hopefully eventually i can probably get annabella and ruby so starting out the day i went ahead and tried to knock out the story so that way i can get as much experience as i could on top of that since i caught up the story to where i can do the warren quest line, I can now reveal the Warren map, making it much easier to explore. But after about an hour, I was able to finish the story for the day and I got to the next time gate to where it was going to be another 17 hours until I could continue the story once again. So after a few more hours of exploring, I was finally ready to start rolling again. So starting out with the black nucleus, 10, ah, pepper, 20, terrible, 30, terrible, 40, terrible, 50. Ah, NA, 60, terrible, 70, terrible, 80, really terrible, 90, NA, 100, terrible, 110, terrible, 120, terrible, 130, echo, and that's it. All right, now let's do our go nucleus. 10, purple, 20, purple, 30, purple, 40, purple. And now for the Annabella. Basically guaranteed, I need to do at least 30 rolls and then do some single rolls until I get 120 flame go. But let's see if I can get an early one. 10, purple, 20, purple, 30, purple. All right, now single rows. I guess I need five. One, terrible. Two, terrible. Three, terrible. Four, terrible. Five, of course it's a purple. Well, guaranteed Annabella. Well, let's go ahead and roll for Ruby. And since I have 35 rows already, might as well go ahead and get it up to 40. One, wait. No way. Oh my gosh, I got Ruby in one roll. Well, this changes things. So I might try to go for Ruby matrices now that I got so lucky. So here's what I explored so far. Astra's done. I still got a few supply pods and bangies. A lot in Navia. Crown is pretty much done, but Warren is pretty much untouched. On top of that, I still haven't done Artificial Island where there's two zones to give me supply pods or dark crystals. Plus, Artificial Island gives special vouchers and it also gives more dark crystals. And there's a few other places to where I can maybe get some special vouchers like Gacha Ponds and the Artificial Island home base. And if I have enough time, I can even explore Vera. But after spending all of my Mira on this Gacha Pond, I would recommend that it probably would have just been smarter to go for the Samir Major C. Also, if this was like a regular free to play account and this was like a 30 day or 90 day challenge, that's the one that I would go for first, trying to clear out that Samir Gacha Pond. So now that we got our desired weapons, we started running into the issue that most free to plays are going to have to face, and that is limited weapon materials. This is the main reason why I kept most of my weapons to level 30, so that way I would have as many as I could possibly get. This is also why I tried to do as many level 3 stargates by looking at the recruit chat as I could, knowing that this was going to be an issue. And the next problem I ran into were matrices. You do not get a lot of proof of purchases, and I believe the main way how you get these were due to achievements, player stream machines, the newcomer event, and the Wanderer's Log. So due to such limited ways to get matrices, I was not able to level up my matrices as much as I would have liked. So after a few more hours of exploring, I finally got enough achievement points so that way I can get some more matrices. 10 purple, but this actually works out. I got a Robarg matrice, so this is a three piece. So where now I can basically put the three piece Robarg set on Ruby, making her even stronger. Next, we went to the black market and talked to Hopkins, see this island and did the claw machine, and did our two trainings for the day. So after that, I went to the point store and bought all the spare special gifts, and I used all the gifts that I gathered so that way I could give to Samir, so that way I can awaken her trait. Now, I also gave Vera gifts to Samir, but I recommend that you only give Vera gifts to Vera characters, to where they're kind of limited, to where you can only buy five a week in the commissary, and generally get them through events. Whereas with a spare of special gifts you can do training black market and see this island as well as buy five from artificial island weekly and if you really want to you can go to bangies dock and spend gold but i don't recommend and after a few more hours of exploration we were finally ready to roll once more starting with the black nucleus 10 terrible 20 terrible 30 filing 40 terrible 50 terrible 60 terrible 70, Echo, 80, Terrible, 90, Hilda, 100, Terrible, 
one tin. Oh, we got a Subasa. Let's go. Oh man, I might be able to get a six star if I can keep getting Subasa. All right, let's do the goat nucleus. 50, purple, 60. Oh, no way. I got another Subasa. I can't believe that. 70. Another one? Okay, Huma, but I mean early. 80. And guaranteed SSR. Wow, another Huma. They really want this account to have Huma and Zubasa. So I think I got six star Zubasa. So there's two star, three star. Go to the weapon store and buy two copies. If I use the SSR weapon box and I can just choose one. And with that, I got six star Zubasa. Now let's see if we can get some more luck and get some ruby matrices. 10, purple, 20, purple, Wow, not even a lot of purples. So after I got all that, of course we had to test out our power in the Bygone Phantasm. I ended up clearing floor 108 before I decided to do a few more things to help power up the account. Next we cleared level four in the wormhole on normal mode so that way I could get some easy dark crystals from the Wanderer's Log. I was starting to reach the reset for the next day, so I wanted to go down and do the Marzoid ore quest so that way I can get that ore so I could do some of the appointed research so that way I didn't waste my energy. And since I was approaching the end of the night, I needed to do Mia's Kitchen and my four bounties. So after the reset, we went to Artificial Island and we went into our home base so that way we could clear the island and get all of those resources. So once I cleared the island, I went to the exchange store and I started buying out all of the items. Now, since this is a weak challenge and I just needed to make my character as powerful as possible, this is the reason why I did that. Normally, you probably want to build up your development center and focus on one house. For me, I generally went with the kitty house since they have SR relics and SSR relics to eventually to where you have all the houses level nine so that way you can start crafting matrices. Then I did my FC hard for the day. Sadly, I only got one go though. Then with it being a new day, there was a new story. So I went ahead and did that to try to get that quick experience to where after completing this story, I have to wait 44 hours until I can do the next part. And since I was reaching the end of the challenge, I went ahead and did Mia's kitchen and I knocked out my four bounties for Saturday. And for the last thing that I needed to do was just lay down all of my Omnium Beacon. This actually ended up being quite a bit of experience and it got me all the way to level 70 from 67. Then I decided to spam ruins for the end of the day so that way I can clear out more things in the Wanderer's Log. And now we are ready to do the last push. We went ahead, got our Rose, got our Samir trait. And as you see, I'm buying a few weapon materials with Black Goat. Now, as a free to play all the way up to a well, you should never really buy weapon materials with black coat. I am only doing this to try to make my character stronger so that way I can get high floors in the bygone fantastic. So now let's see what happens with a week worth of grinding. So here we are pretty much a week from once I started. I'm on floor 210 fighting Frigg and I have to admit Ruby and Annabella together is really powerful. On top of having my C6 Subasa, I was pretty much just easily getting through these floors, especially with those robe arc matrices on Ruby. And I also feel that if I had more time, I probably could have made it to higher floors, but I just unfortunately ran out of time. But with that, that'll be day seven of the free to play challenge. So what do you guys think? You guys think I did pretty well? You think I should have been able to get much further in seven days? Are you surprised I did as much as I did? Let me know down in the comments and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If so, I would greatly appreciate a like so that way it can spread more on YouTube. But other than that, talk with you guys later.